You know what's funny though? Some of you guys may remember this. I used to give incentives for people to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you if you turned notifications on for my channel and tweeted me screenshot proof that you had noties on, I would follow you back on Twitter and Instagram. And in hindsight, I think that was one of the worst things I ever did for like a bunch of reasons. I think short term, it was a good idea, but I wasn't appreciating the long term damage that something like that would have. I think that's one of the big reasons why my channel took such a hit algorithmically, like how many, you know, the fact that not as many people show up to my streams anymore. My content doesn't get recommended as much anymore. I think because when you have hundreds of thousands of people that have noties turned on for your channel, and the only reason they did it is for the follow on social media, and they're not actually going to be clicking on your content when they get the noti, YouTube's going to interpret that as, oh, we sent out noties to 300,000 people, but only 500 people are clicking the noti and actually watching the content. Like YouTube will see you not clicking the noti as more of an indication that this is bad content and people don't wanna see it and it, should, it shouldn't be recommended. And that was something, that was like a perspective that I didn't really have when I first asked you guys to do that. Again, it would be great short term because for like that period of time where my channel was popping, it was getting like tons of people to come into my streams. It was keeping my content going. But what happened was I was getting a larger number of people that had noties on, but also a large percentage of those people weren't ever going to click on my noties when they got them. And I think that actually really hurt my channel algorithmically. Like that's one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made as a YouTuber. It's kind of like a, a weird and technical thing. And of course there was other things, right? Like I stopped uploading as much and I, I wasn't putting as much content out there. And I kind of started to just like do gameplays and live streams and stuff like that. And I wasn't doing some of the cool creative stuff that I, that I used to do. I think about that a lot. And I, I don't really know if there's any way to actually undo that. Like I can't, I can't force those accounts to turn off their noties, but I think if there was a, a lower number of people that had noties on, but a higher percentage of those people were actually clicking on my noties, I think my content would get recommended more. Again, that's just like a theory I have when it comes to YouTube. But I, 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 if I had to guess, I think that's one of the reasons why my content isn't getting recommended, why well, my channel took a hit. Not gonna lie, I get your YouTube noti, but I don't click it. I just open up YouTube and click on your live stream. Is that different? That's a really good question. I don't know how the algorithm looks at that. I'm not sure. And it also sucked because I was following a ton of people on social media and then my feed on Instagram and Twitter just got flooded and it got to the point where like I couldn't even really follow the people that I wanted to follow. Like I couldn't keep up with anything. And I was following like 3000 people at one point and I just had to like mass unfollow like a crap ton of people. I don't know, just something I wanted to, just an interesting thought, food for thought.